Welcome to CNTV with yours truly, Elizabeth Ayola. So on today's edition of Meet the Boss, the Young Entrepreneurs Edition, we are sitting down with the CEO of Jump Space Communications, Emeka Onyewe. Uh, so he's going to be telling us all about what his company does, what it's like being a young entrepreneur in Nigeria, as well as giving us some insight into the tech world. From 2011 and Jump Space was from 2013. Uh, what inspired Jump Space was the, the love for software development. Like, I, I like the whole, you know, I'm not, I don't write code myself, but I'm more of an entrepreneur. So, I like the whole following the project management, working with a team that were from people in different places, the whole agile build, taking it from mind to market. So, talking to people about, oh, this is an idea I want, and I'm just like, oh, we know a way we can build that. And then I have a team talk to my team and they're like, oh, we could build it like this. Oh, look at what's happening in the world. Yeah, yeah. It's just like, I like, it's just exciting to me how, you know, you take it from your mind and you, then you create something and then you see it in reality. Mm -hmm. So that was what, Jump Space is always, is always going to be like my playground for ideas, you know. So that's what, that's why I really opened the software development company. So in case I had a new idea or if I want to build something for a client, um, then they would talk to me about it and I would work with my team to build it. So that's what. Jump Space was born from, really. Yeah. Um, first, seeing the kids is what really inspires me. I mean, with you know, with the code school thing. I mean, I like what we, I like the center, I like what we're doing. Seeing the kids is what we're really inspiring. Also, the software what we were developing, the education platform. I'm also really excited about that and about the potential about of what it, you know, uh, what it can bring. So it's just more of like the value add, the value of what, what you know, because at first when it was set up. There was no direction of where, where we were going, um, but now it's now becoming clearer. Mm -hmm. And with time, more people are, you know, uh, more accustomed to technology. Mm -hmm. So, so but then I, mean, I enjoy working with kids. I enjoy the software development aspect of it. But then, I, you know, there's other aspects of it that I, I don't mind. The yeah. recruitment and taste, yeah. But it's not always, you know, rosy. It's always, it's, you know, it's ups and downs. <laughs> I just wanted a quirky sort of name, you know. It was just like uh, one of those Web 2.0 type names. Yeah, I think <laughs> so and jump space. I've just been thinking space cadet, spaceship. I so I know this company in the states called Big Spaceship, and I was like, oh, I what? like I like that kind of name. Yeah. <laughs> so, was it a tech company? Yeah, yeah, it's a digital media agency, yeah. you know. So I was like, eh, yeah, you know, and. So many other names, like in reality, you have an idea, right? Mm -hmm. Then you call CAC and it'll tell you, eh eh, it's taking, eh eh, mm -hmm. no, we can't take this one, we can't take this one. So it now had to like change. And after a while, I was like, you know what, jump space. She was like, eh? It's free. I was, I was like, jump space. She was like, jump space, what? Jump space communication. She's like, okay. Thank you. Yeah, that's, that's available. Jump space has been a, more of a lean investment. So like, I, there was really no mu much money to be mm -hmm. thrown in at the beginning. But then this is more of like a, a proper infrastructure with company and investment and direction and plan. Mm -hmm. So I just happen to be the one directing, like because I have some projects in mind with the code school and with the educational platform. So that's why I'm really passionate about working in Audax also and working on all projects because I see all of them as different projects. Yeah. So that's how it's easy for me to just work on each of them because I don't really see it as, oh, two different companies. Yeah. 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 They all kind of, yeah, they all just kind of work together. So I'm just working on them as I go. So it's inspiring. The kids really inspire me also. Um, looking at the kids and seeing them build stuff from such a young age and then five years old, like, and then, so like I mean, it's actually, oh, and then when, you know, when you see what they've done, you're like, whoa, okay. Mm -hmm. And then you start smiling like, ah, oh, this is this is good, this is good. But you know, and then also, the little projects that we have in the pipeline is also, you know, it's, it makes me wake up every day and like, okay, cool, yeah, work know. is gonna be interesting today. <laughs> um, okay, I guess we're in the era of mobile, as you can see, since when the telcos came, it's all it's been like hockey stick growth since then. You know, Tesla just had 20 million subscribers recently. 
So yeah, mobile is growing every single day. Um, I went to the Mobile West Africa conference earlier this year, and I was hearing so many stats on how mobile is actually growing. Mm -hmm. And penetration in Nigeria, mobile penetration is close to 100% in Nigeria now. Um, so everything is going to be delivered by the mobile phone. That's the best way to reach people. That's the that's the easiest way to you know get anything across to anyone. So if Mobile is not about to end. It's just picking up. Yeah, it's just beginning. It's just picking up. So mobile, I feel mobile technology, it's its own industry where mobile, like we're talking about voice, SMS, data, mm -hmm. talking about, you know, the telcos, you're talking about mobile phones, cell phones, talking about wearables, even Samsung Gear, that's also mobile. You know, the Google, Watch, Google Glass, that's also mobile because you can move with it, you know. Mm -hmm. Don't just think mobile as a mobile phone. Yeah. And I can deliver so many things to those people through, the, through that platform. So on Google Glass, I can show you an ad on your screen or whatever. So mobile is always, it's going to start getting much bigger. Like the desktops, the only way people use desktop. Even laptops are not as mobile anymore. Mm -hmm. um, even tablets aren't very mobile. Because if you want to use a tablet, you have to pause and use yeah. it. You know, so, um, but in the age of a mobile, it, there are going to be new, new hardwares coming in, new softwares, apps are going to be built. Mm -hmm. A lot of interfaces are going to be working with people because you want to reach the person directly who yeah. has the mobile phone or mobile device about to reach. So that's not going to end. So, so many, even um, I know the mobile killed the camera industry. If you, if you notice back in the day, there was Nikon, Kodak, Panasonic, all these other guys. Mm -hmm. But now it's only... The biggest camera company is Samsung, which has mobile, which is a mobile phone company. Yeah. You know, it's, and then the other guys are not specializing in like digital SLRs, and nobody does the point and shoot anymore. Mm -hmm. um, the biggest music company is even music industry is even losing to mobile because the biggest music industry player right now is iTunes. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, Apple is the biggest music, whatever uh, music subscription yeah. company right now. Um, so if you're if you're going talking about mobile, I think everything is converging into mobile. The health industry, insurance, everybody can get uh, M-Pesa with the M-Pesa scheme mm -hmm. in Kenya. People can pay their bus driver through their mobile phone by sending mm -hmm. uh, an SMS or sending a text message. So, yeah. the but is mobile going to end anytime soon? No. Um, so I'm separating mobile from like software. The software is more like okay, systems and companies and. But that's also not going to end anytime soon also because in Nigeria there has to be a lot of processes that are moved from the archaic times to this new era of where things have to be in the cloud, things have to be faster, processes yeah. have to be faster. Businesses want to be able to cut costs and save money and save time. But then the only way you do it is with technology. Yeah. You can't, you just use, I mean, although, you know, reduce the amount of manpower and force use, but people would have to start channeling their minds thinking more towards oh, what system should I use that will make it in, simp simpler. What, you know, so with that, I feel like it's more of uh, people have websites nowadays. People want to be visible. People want to be on, on you know, Google or you know, people want to have more visibility in the tech space. Um, even mo your mom and your pop shop that is holding the wall will also want to have a, a, some sort of identity. Yeah, exactly. So I think it's just... I wouldn't say it's just kicking off. It's been kicking off. It's been yeah. rising, but it's going to keep going until yeah. we become one with technology, probably. Until and then we plug in like the Matrix. <laughs>
thing that we started was when I was in school. I started like a clothing company mm -hmm. with one of my friends. You know how everybody in school wants to do their own, you know, business or whatever. Yeah. So we now put some put some pocket money together and I did some things. Uh, it was not looking sweet. We even got like our shirts in like the Hamptons and like some other places. And we we're like, ah, 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 this thing is not, Moving up in life. you know. But we now squashed it because we. <laughs> Because, you know, I had to come back to Nigeria and he had to go elsewhere and we're like, ah, clothing line, we're not sure. So, um, and then other things that I've seen, like, because, like I said, I studied studio art. So art for me has always been a way of channeling my creativity um, or how I think and whatnot. And for it to come from my head and I put it on a visual and then it looks like how I was thinking about it, it was what was fulfilling to me. Like, I've always loved creating stuff, you know some sculpture, I, I did sculpture, I did painting, I did, yeah. yeah, I did a bunch of art stuff, you know, so, and it was always starting from scratch, like, I'd see nothing, and then at the end of the, oh, my, my process, I, I create something, and I liked how it was always, you know, I, it was a process for me, or it wasn't always like, oh, I needed to draw somebody's face or something, you know, so the process of creating was always what I really liked yeah. doing anyway, so the fact, when I came back to Nigeria, I tried to do graphic design work for some people, but <laughs> yeah, Nigeria well, is really tough. <laughs> you know, I mean, the thing is, I, I could have been persistent, persisting uh, on that, but it was just more like um, I wanted to build a product that would have value. Mm -hmm. So if people see the value in the product, they'll pay for it. Mm -hmm. And then if they don't see the value in it, then they won't pay for it. So that way I don't have to be chasing everybody for a contract yeah, or a business. Yeah, or, yeah. So I'll build a certain product and then... If that product has value, then I'll see who will be my loyal customers. Mm -hmm. So that was why it was just like, okay, I needed to create an idea. I needed a, so I did my master's in technology entrepreneurship. Uh, there we go. So in entrepreneurship. So I, 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 after my, my undergrad, I went to do my master's. So I, it taught me how to take it mm -hmm. from your mind to the market. Mm -hmm. So that was how I now channeled the art plus the technology, plus building the team. So it's not, it took a while and a lot of, yeah, ups and downs, a lot of processes before I'm like, okay, I'm comfortable with where, where I'm at right now and, mm -hmm. and I can start doing things. Um, also, they, everyone's always afraid of money. You need money, you need money, you need money. Honestly speaking, yeah, you need money. <laughs> but, but it's not always that much money. Mm. Like a lot of Nigerians feel like you need, I have my idea, at first I need 20 million naira to start. I'm like, no, you don't. Yeah. You can start an idea with 100K. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you're really passionate about your idea, you'll see people who come and yeah. work, invest in it. And that's one thing I find. Like, a lot of people, a lot of Nigerians have ideas. And it's just ideas until you execute it. Yes, of course. So if you're talking about ideas and ideas and ideas, nobody's going to give you money for an idea. Mm -hmm. I mean, some people would if you're, if you're really close to them. But if you... If you've actually taken the time to invest a little bit in this your idea, even if it's just m very minimal, and then you see yeah, you see something tangible, and then you validate that your idea works. Mm -hmm. So even if it's not necessarily a, a technology product, but the idea of okay, maybe I want to start doing you know subscription newspaper, then you walk to every house. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna ask them, okay, I have this service. Even if you don't have any service, mm -hmm. you say I have this service. Do you people want? Is a subscription newspaper I can be delivering to your house every day? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, okay, okay. You know, uh, you, you want to deliver a newspaper? Okay, what newspapers do you have? I have Nation, this one, that one, that one. Okay, fine. I want it. Mm -hmm. So this house will sell it. This house, and all of a sudden, by the end of the month, you probably have like 20 houses that yeah. you're supplying newspaper to. Yeah. You know, and every day they're waiting for you to come and bring newspaper. Then if you bring that to an investor, they're like, aha. Then you can create a front end mm -hmm. application. That does already the back end stuff. Mm -hmm. So when you're not sure you invest, hey, see, I've already raised money. I have 20 people. I have this, this. Yeah. Then they'll put money behind it because they can see projection and see that it's actually going to be viable. So I, I feel like a lot of people get discouraged because of money. Mm -hmm. But if you are, if you have a passionate idea, there are hundred, a million and one ways for you to make it work. Mm -hmm. So you just have to fail and start and fail and start again. So that's basically it. Yeah, I'm targeting everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Um, so, uh, basically, for for Code School, we are looking to reach a lot of brands, reach the government, uh, Ministry of Education, and Lagos State, and uh, other brands who advocate for computer science education, to so partner with us so we can, you know, push the vision of uh, getting this to be a national part of the national curriculum, uh, getting kids to learn how to code from a very early age. Um, 
with uh, with Jump Space, I guess it's just more of because we're a software development company and we build with international best practices. Oh, that's okay. That's I, I like that question. You know, I really like that question. The favorite. I have a bunch of books. I I, I don't really read novels. Mm -hmm. I like reading, you know, personal development and all these kind of really cool books. <laughs> so right now, I'm right now I'm reading Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, and I'm reading this Daniel Kahneman book. Is uh, uh, and then I'm reading another book called Jewish Wisdom for Business Success. next three, five years, we have this education product. I keep smiling about it. <laughs> I want to know what it's all about. It's my education. Yeah, so that's going to launch. That's going to be launched. It's going to be out in the market. And, you know, we'll be ha making ways in which you can have, become a market leader. But I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Uh, Jump Space. Jump Space already has an application out in the market called Find the Med. It's a health application that shows you the closest hospitals, pharmacies, mm -hmm. and medical centers around you. So it just plots your location. And then you can see which is the closest pharmacy around you with the app. So you can catch your traveler, you're moving around town, and you need to know or you need to get some drugs or you need to go see a doctor. Yeah. Then you can use the application. Driving directions. Ooh, yeah, okay. it's a crowdsource application. So you can, even, you can even write reviews. So you can leave reviews about the center, mm -hmm. put stars on it so other people can also rate the center. Yeah. Oh, this place is clean. I love it. Five stars. Mm -hmm. And then everyone else will see it. Mm -hmm. and you can also get health alerts. So, for example, a Palon Memorial could want to advertise a free BMI, free blood testing day, and um, they'll have it on the health alert, and then anybody who had the app will be able to see it. Okay. So, um, That's awesome. Find yeah. the med, right? Yeah, and it's just a listing application. Mm -hmm. So, you can it's just for, and also you can look at, uh, you can favorite different hospitals, and you can see if it, it can, it's crowdsourced, so we need everyone to be part of it, to just be part of a household sort of mm -hmm. health application, so you can interact with the application, and the application also gives you what you want. Slowly, slowly, like I'm glad that with this Ebola thing we were able to control it. So it shows that Nigeria, we can get stuff done mm. if we really put our mind Central, to it. Yeah. No, we can get stuff done. We have the infrastructure to do it. We have the teams to do it. But we don't, we just are nonchalant about it. Mm. Because all the Nigerians that I, see, I meet abroad, they are brilliant people. Mm -hmm. Nigerians, they stay abroad, they're like doctors, they're the ones that, you know, so we're very smart, very creative people, and we can do stuff if we really put our minds to it. And then, yeah. but then it also starts from within us, I think. We need, to, we need to stop being greedy. We need to start learning how to think of each other as one Nigeria, rather than, oh, I'm Yoruba, you're Igbo, you're this, you know what I mean? Yeah. We need, and then we need to forget about that, you know, if, I know go to, if you go to most of these countries, they have an indigenous language and they all learn. I get to, you go to Spain, nobody's going to want to speak English. They say go and learn their language, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. But like, we need to, I think that's one thing I really want to see happen in Nigeria where we learn to live together mm -hmm. and then work together and not try to cheat each other and try yeah. to rip each other off and like hate each other. Mm -hmm. When one is doing well, you're like, ah, oh, no, I'm not going to. You know, I don't like this person yeah. doing that, but you actually try to assist and help One out. Person